Namaste, Soul Tribe family. Welcome back my way on this divinely guided day. I love you and the divine loves you. Thank you for your continued support. Okay. Um, y'all, I just heard a very um <clears throat> it was a 14-minute message. That 14-minute message explained a lot um to me. Uh I feel that <clears throat> Being an energy reader, this is what this message is saying, being an energy reader, sometimes we can be engulfed with the negativities of the energies that are present, right? Um, <clears throat> this message is for an ascended master, okay? This message is for an ascended master. So an ascended master will understand this. You may have been seeing the number 333. OK, you may have been seeing a lot of correlating numbers lately. OK, nine, six, nine, three, 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 um, two, two, two. I'm even seeing four twos, two, 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 ten, ten, eleven. You're seeing a lot of numbers. OK, um, these numbers. Are. directly connected to source, to your angel and spirit guides, uh, really your angel guide. Um, but they're also significant to master numbers, okay? Um, yes. <clears throat> so... 11, 11, 22, and 33, okay? Those are your master number. Um, this message is for an ascended master, okay? There's something that is being masked, put over you, and it's a negative. It's, it's a toxic... It's a toxic... Um, projection somebody wants you to see something in a negative from a negative perspective and actually it's not spirit is guiding you back into aligning with source stepping out of the negative energy spirit also is saying if there's anything that is causing you to maybe um pick up these energies you may need to um Let's say you read something or you see something. There's something that you're seeing and it's causing you, this is how they're projecting. Spirit wants an ascended master to know that whatever it is that you're seeing in a negative light, that is not what it is. And as you see the sun shifting and change, yes. So 11, 11, 22, 33, 3, 3, 3, 10, 10. Okay, now 10 represents completion. Okay, for some of you that don't know, let's get some higher self messages here because I feel like you're going through a period where you're getting ready to ascend. You're getting ready to ascend to the next level. You are moving up. Okay, you are an awesome um, individual, by the way. Okay, very magical, very powerful, very, uh, you know, you're just on point. I, I want to give you that. I want to give you that. Spirit wants you to know that, okay? So divine creator of all living things, protect myself and the Soul Tribe family during this read, all reads, and all the time, as well as provide us with clear and concise messages with clarity, guidance, intuition, wisdom, and discernment as well. Please and thank you, uh, Shay. Any negativity that is being thrown or projected at myself, the Soul Tribe family, or the collective, I ask that you Strike it down and cut it down as we too strike it down and cut it down and clear, cancel, and release it back to the universe. Ashe. Okay. Let's get these higher self messages out here because I feel like you're an ascended master and someone is, you've been being projected on. And this could be become this could be coming from people around you, okay, in your energy field or you're in their energy field. So at this time, your higher self is wanting you to know that everything you want is on the other side of the unknown, okay? 
I feel like this is your higher self coming back in, letting you know, you know, you, because see, we don't want to step too far off into one end or the other, shadow or light. There has to be a common ground and you have to balance it out. I feel like uh, for an ascended master or many ascended masters, we have been gravitating towards this energy where it's pulling us out of the light in some aspects. And that's because they're projecting a lot. Spirit also wants you to know that what you seek is seeking you. When you rest, it will find you. Mm -hmm. When you rest, it will find you. I feel like this is a resting period. I've said that on a couple of my reads um, and it comes out quite often. This is a resting period. You have been giving time to rest. Okay. I feel like there is definitely something um, that you, you're, you've ascended and this is coming up. This is the time for you to rest. You've got to get yourself together. You've got three months to do it before 2025 is here. Message for someone, right? Yeah, you pull the strings that control your own life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Messages for the Ascended Masters, yes. Because see, there's energies here that are projecting, yes. You are the rare flower that blooms in the dark. Keep growing. See, that gives me lotus flower energy. It grows out the mud, right? Mm-hmm. You are that flower that blooms in the dark. Keep growing. So see, you, you actually, you may have gotten something to actually flourish within darkness. That's, that's that alchemy energy. That's that alchemy energy, okay? Um... I feel like, hold on. There we go. I feel like because you are in this um, new, I, I don't want to say new because you've ascended, you are now an ascended master, okay? I want to look, there was something specifically, hold on, that's not what I was looking for. Okay, let me go back one more. Okay, all right. So yes, you have spiritually, thank you for that moment. You spiritually aligned, okay? Um, with that alignment, you also have spiritual protection and balance. There's healing here, okay? I feel like now is time, yeah, to let your true color show so your tribe knows how to find you. Mm -hmm. See, because I feel like you, you have been able to tap in enough to provide what you needed to provide for someone. And now it is for them to take in that information, take in that uh, the resources provided and them to act on it. Now it is time for you to feed into your higher self. Yeah, because there are many doors that lead to the place you truly belong. Mm -hmm. Because what you seek is seeking you. So when you, uh, when you rest, it will find you. Yeah, and there are many doors that lead to the place you truly belong. Yeah, there's a way if you are willing to change the way you see it. I did not just say they want you to see something. They want you to see something inaccurately. It's 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 a projection. See, now they are starting to uh give you visual projections, okay? Um let make no mistake about it with these wicked ones. These wicked ones are tricksters. They're clever, okay? Um, when they, when they find a, a, uh, uh, how can I explain this? When they find an area that they feel, let's say they know you're meticulous. Let's say they know you're methodical. Okay. Let's say they know that, you know, there's things about you that they know. These are attacking points. Okay. For them, 
they may have put a visual out there, but it wasn't what it was. That's why I said, yeah, somebody, and this is a message for an ascended master. Yeah, there is a way if you are willing to change the way you see it. See, they wanted you to see something from a negative perspective. Yeah, your shadows are just hiding light right now. I'm telling you, your shadows are just hiding light right now. They could have been um, attacking your ego. They could have been attacking your ego, all right? Um, because it says here, you are, you are the rare flower that blooms in the dark. Keep growing, okay? Your shadows are just hiding the light right now. Because see, that I feel that this was what was happening within your energy um, and, and being an empath. And being um, someone who is used as a vessel to provide messages for not just some, but all. Um, with that being what spirit is, is, is relaying at this time, it's time for an ascended master to step back into their position. Yeah, because storms may bring passion but not peace. And see your overall objection or objective at this time, objection, this is not for it. Your overall ob um, objective at this time is to focus on bringing peace, mm -hmm. tranquility. Mm -hmm. That's why everything you want is on the other side of the unknown. Let your true colors show. So your tribe knows how to find you. Storms may bring passion, but not peace. So I feel like for many of you, you're healing. It's time to let it go. Um, and if you're and if you're on this channel, it's time to let it go. Okay, it's time because you're not going to heal. Okay, this is a message directly for my soul tribe family, some of the collective. Okay, um, it is time for an ascended master to step into their life's purpose, their calling, and their calling is a passionate calling. Okay, but it also focuses on bringing in peace. All right, what other messages? Yeah. Answers appear. I'm telling you, answers appear when you release the question. Mm -hmm. Answers appear when you release the question, literally. Literally, I had a question and literally the answer was released. I had to go and meditate. I had to get away and get out. But it was released. When I came on, didn't I say I listened to something for about 14 minutes? Because it's about a 14 minute message. Mm -hmm. And I feel that, you know, many of you have questions and the questions that you keep asking. OK, for some of you, no offense intended. But when it comes to monetary gain, I feel that spirit wants you to bunker down and find it within first before you can find it externally. And I feel that spirit is not going to bring you any more than what you need for some of you, okay? Take it how it resonates. Leave what does not. Yeah. Then we have out here, when you start, the path appears. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So take a step in any direction. But make sure your direction is in alignment with your purpose and your purpose in this energy field and in this um and on this channel really is to restore peace yes the messenger the high priestess the healer the truth speaker can definitely relate to the adversity and can provide guidance okay through those adversities but here on this channel we need to function as ascended masters as well. And that means feed, feed our own um, souls as well with nourishment and positivity and peace, tranquility, harmony, and prosperity. 
protection and respect. Okay. And I feel like spirit wanted me to come on here and give this message out to ascended masters that may be here as well as elsewhere within the community. So yes, look for the signs that will guide you to the destiny you have known all along. So there was negative projection for an, um, a negative projection. Some ascended masters may not have grasped onto that because I feel like you have just now stepped into this ascension. You need to understand that most negativity that comes into your mind or comes into your thoughts has everything to do with a projection of some sort. You must be able to identify that and then seek guidance. Once you seek guidance, source is not going to leave you behind. Source is going to bring in that beacon of light that you need. Yes, because you are a beacon for others to follow. So don't hide the bright light you are. I feel that many of you are a beacon of light for so many that have gone through a lot, but we don't want to stay in that energy. We can provide guidance, but once we provide guidance, it is for you to act on it. As an ascended master, we have got to stay in alignment with source because once we become engulfed in the negativities and the, you know, oh, what is this going to happen? And what is that? Happen? We are not, I look, I'm not, look, I'm not coming in here telling you I'm some psychic. I am a healer. I'm a truth speaker. And I am a messenger. Okay. But I feel that when spirit moves me to provide you with information, I need to do that. For whatever reason, we are being guided to go on and step back because some of our communities could be overwhelming and we're not nourishing our energy properly. These could be people, places, and things. Spirit is also saying this is not a time, um, you know, for some of you, you need to know that behind the closed doors, whether you uh, can feel it or not, things are being wrapped up, okay, for karmics, for uh, individuals who have caused harm. They are being wrapped up, but your area of focus is not going to um, help you grow if you stay in that energy. Yeah. You've got to shift the way to new potential. Yeah, you got to shift the way to new potential. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your soul shines. So that's what you have to do. Um, Spirit is saying, okay, I heard that. Spirit is saying there is enough to worry about. Find the light. Mm. Okay. Yeah, move beyond your intention to belief. See, it's your vibrations. You got to worry your vibration. There are some of you out here that may not be, this message is not going to be for you. It's not going to resonate with you. You may not feel like an ascended master. You may not, um, you know, be in that energy. So who this message is for? it will resonate with. Yeah. The creator of earth, earth signs out here, you could be Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Okay. You have cozy up with risks. Yeah. And I feel that risk is like literally the risk here is taking a chance on letting go of all that you harbor, all that you harbor, all of the pain, all of the negativity, all of the ups and downs, all of the, look, we've been there. We've done that. If you're, if you're new and you've never been through it and you need some help with it, go to the description box below. There's my email address. Okay. But yeah, 
Spirit is saying balance needed to be restored. Exactly. There are many doors that lead to the place you truly belong. You, but you got to be in balance. Mm -hmm. You have to be in balance. Thank you, Spirit, for the messages. Yes, you truly have to be in balance. Mm -hmm. Then we ha have out here, yes, you're the muse. There's a way if you are willing to change the way you see it. The way you see things has everything to do with everything. You are the muse. You are um, someone's creative spark. You bring back the hope and the vitality. I feel this sun energy out here. I feel this star energy out here. You're the muse for change. You've got to see something from a different perspective. The way you're seeing it was incorrect. And you were seeing it as a way of being um, hindered, uh, stagnated, uh, held down you know something and it's all you know incorrect those were projections those are proje now i'm not saying that you have not been gang stalked i'm a live survivor of it i'm not saying that at all but i am saying that you have to learn how to alchemize that energy creator of air here gemini libra aquarius energy you have to um alchemize that energy Okay, do not feed into it. Do not focus on it. You know what's happening. Now you need to take that energy and focus it somewhere else. I understand. I hear it. I hear a lot of you are upset. Some of my people have said they were displaced, but I'm going to tell you right now. What you focus on is what you're going to attract. So stop, drop, and ground. Exactly. Because storms may bring passion, but not peace. So you need to stop, drop, and ground. Get yourself back centered because you have too much to be grateful for and you have too much to look forward to. Do we need to live now in the present? Yes. But these present, look, everything is intertwined. Past, present, and future is all intertwined. When your pathway comes out, when those journey uh, messages start coming out, it's all about from past, present, future. It's all connected. Yeah. Brings in the change. Yeah. So the answer, answers appear when you release the question. Yeah. And it brings in the changes that you seek. It brings in the changes that you seek. Many of you need to seek the change. The change that you're seeking is to be able to, you know what I'm saying? Number one, overcome any negativity. But number two, stay grounded with source, the divine creator of all living things your angel and spirit guides of the highest light as well as your ancestors you want to stay grounded with source so know that these projections aren't your projection know that it is time for an ascended master to step back in to their power where they rightfully belong yeah the edge of evolution feels messy and it does it really does. So when you start the path appears, so take a step in any direction. And I feel like this right here, when the when when we are on the brink of an evolution, yeah, everything feels messy. And that's easiest to attack upon that time because you're feeling like, okay, you're looking for it. You're waiting for it. Well, you're attracting it. Mm. I heard that spirit. I feel that, you know, um, because light energies are so um 
forthcoming, straightforward, uh, you know, um, very truthful, honest energies, a lot of that is taken for a weakness. I think I just posted something about that in my community pertaining to how that is looked at. And I feel like a lot of people have been playing on my community's energy. Yeah, you're living poetry. I'm telling you. I've always said you've got a book. You've got something inside of you. Um, you may even be an excellent speaker. But yeah, look for the signs that will guide you to the destiny you have known all along. You are living poetry. There's something about what you speak. I feel I'm speaking to an ascended master that can touch a nation. And you are a master of your energy. You're a master of energy. You can be very clairvoyant. I feel that a lot of you, you have decided to maybe um, do things a different way. Some, some, some ascended masters here, I'm feeling this energy of, you know, not really liking to be in public or out and about with large crowds. Yeah. Cause see, whatever, whatever the case may be, as soon as you become that beacon of light, you become in flow with your money. It says you are a beacon for others to follow. So don't hide the bright light you are. Yeah. Because in flow with money. Yeah, you could be a speaker. I'm serious. You could be a, a book writer, a storyteller. Okay. Um, you can be a motivational uh, coach. You can be a coach. Um, hell, I just heard a new whole type of coaching has been invented because of what you do. Yeah, that's why spirit is telling you to integrate your knowing. And what do you really want? And did y'all see that? Yeah, what do you really want? And integrate your knowing. Um, For my ascended masters, I know you know what you want, but I also know that there's a lot of you that have just ascended just to send it to the next level. You were able to cleanse all that other, whatever was going on out. It doesn't mean that you're leaving it by the wayside, but what it does mean is that some of that energy is going to have to be absorbed and contained in a setting to where, yeah, I'm telling you, in a setting to where it's positive. Mm -hmm. The creator of alchemy. Taking a negative, turning it positive. Because that's your life's purpose. Part of it is the healing. We're forever healing. And if you can't get past a spot, you're, you're in stagnation. It's ended. You're, it's dead in the water, right? So yes, many of you, you got to over, overrate your intuition because you're very intuitive. You're very, very tapped in. You need to overrate your intuition. Yeah. Step ahead. Mm -hmm. One step ahead is all you need. This is a message for somebody out there that I feel like, you know, is watching at this time. I feel like you need to understand that guidance is what we bring. Guidance is what is provided to you. It is for you to move in the direction that the divine creator of all living things moves you in. If you are stagnate, stagnant or you've been stagnated, there is a blockage there. That is something else. You will have to then seek what that blockage is, but you have to accept and receive. And as ascended masters, you have to accept and receive to know that everybody cannot go with you to the next level. That's what spirit is saying. Yeah. Somebody out here, it's about your spark. It's about your hustle. Your, I feel entrepreneur energy, uh, energy here. You're very uh, goal-orientated, business-driven. 
a business mindset, achievements, accomplishment. You have achieved things. You have accomplished things. You've done these things at a very young age. A lot of people have to catch up to you. You've already been there. You've already done that. You're onto something bigger and better. And maybe not as big as people think, but it's definitely better. It's providing a secure foundation. It is establishing um, your legacy and what you will be leaving because it will be passed down. Yes. Mm, okay. Yeah. Fierce serenity out here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You are uh, very determined on bringing in serenity, being in serene environment, being um, around people who are like-minded like you when it comes to that. Yeah. And that's how you're going to fall in love with your own story because your story will be beautiful. Like these beautiful cards. I love them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you notice, you know, I love a lot of the uh, colorful cards because I feel that brightens up days. Okay. But I feel like to an ascended master out here, yeah, you are the light. You sure are. The sacred flow of yes. Yeah, you're the sacred flow of yes. And I feel like the divine wants you to return to who you are meant to be. Let's see what signs you could possibly be. Let's see what zodiac signs you could possibly be. Da, 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 da. Wow. So we have Taurus, we have Aries, we have Libra out here. We have the sun. The sun is also Leo. Um, we also have out here South Node energy. We have the number seven. Ooh, we have the sun twice. Strong Leo. Okay. We have um, eight to seven. Aries, Taurus, South Node, Libra. You could be any of those signs. Mm hmm. Wow, Libra strong again. Six, two. Well, we have some planets. That's Capricorn. This is Gemini. Okay. This is Leo, okay. This is Uranus. Uranus is Aquarius energy. We have life path number six. Life path number six is Virgo. We have two out here, that's Taurus. Then we have Mercury. Mercury is Gemini and Virgo. Life path number seven is Libra. Mm. Now we have the moon out here, Pisces Cancer energy, Leo again. 
Pluto. Oh. Neptune. That's Neptune. 11. Life path 11. Is Leo energy? Hmm. The awakening life path four. We have his cancer energy. We have the moon. Dang, we have Aries. Another Leo. And another four. Hmm. So you may be actually any of the signs, any of the 12 zodiac signs. Mm -hmm. I can be very, I can be more specific as well. <laughs> Divine. Yeah, you could be a, a Scorpio Ascendant Master. Be born between October 23rd, November, and uh, the 21st of November. You may have that placement in your chart. Any other signs? I feel we just went over them all. I feel like Spirit's saying there's a really strong Scorpio energy here. This Scorpio could be an Ascended Master. Especially if they're the Scorpio that's been coming up in the reading. They may be mirroring you. Yeah, there's a Taurus out here. You may be Taurus. April 21st to May 21st. Any other? Libra out here. September 23rd to the 22nd of October. Okay. Now I already went over all the other sides. We got Virgo at the bottom of the deck, but I do feel strong. Uh, Scorpio and Libra that kept coming out. Taurus kept coming out as well. So you may have those placements in your chart. Okay. So um, I'm going to wrap this message up here for you today. I just wanted to get it out there because spirit definitely when I was meditating, it was like, um, yeah, there's, there's something that you have to go on and see, uh, you know, you're seeing things differently. See, I feel like somebody can't attack you, so they came a different way. You have ascended past this energy. This energy is being left behind. Leave it behind, okay? Anything that you want to do for someone, uh, be discerning when offering services. This is what I'm being told to tell you. Be discerning when offering services, if you offer them at all. OK, um, so uh, hopefully this message resonates with you. All right. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. OK, hit your notification bell, drop comments below as they do help the channel to grow. All right. I appreciate you. For doing so. And to my family, I love you and the divine loves you. OK, um, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. It's on this whole ride with you. Some of y'all are supportive. Some of y'all just sit back and watch, you know, and I just appreciate that too because silence is golden, okay? So don't think for any moments that it ever goes unappreciated, uh, unappreciated, all right? Um, this is to my soul child family that's been with me since my A ones, my day ones, to the new family members, okay? I appreciate the likes, the shares, the subscribes, always, the comments, always okay um but i feel like this message here for this ascendant master mm, it was a good one okay so if you resonate with it hit that subscribe as we clear cancel and release all of the other negative energies okay all right and at this time divine creator of all living things i would like to ask that you continue to keep in our lives love harmony tranquility prosperity peace protection and respect and all times, Ashe. And thank you. And until next time, y'all know what I love to say. Namaste.